Namaste Goa Flowers. I am Anita Goa. For those of you who are new to me and my channel, welcome. Today I offer you practice number five in uh, a series that I call Beginner Plus. This is a continuation of my beginner series called Beginner 8. So you can check out the link to all of the videos in both of these series in the description box below. But here I am teaching you my style of yoga, Goa Flow. So today we're going to work on balance, working a lot of different standing poses and finding our balance within our breath, of course. And um, you're going to build strength, find flexibility, as well as endurance within it all. So it is a total body Goa Flow. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how it feels on your body. I want to hear from you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to support my channel so I can continue to make free content like this for you. Remember, it is free to subscribe. And if you don't know how to subscribe, I have created a step-by-step -step guide that you can go through in order for you to subscribe. It's pretty easy. Okay, I hope you well. I will see you on the mat. All you need for this practice is going to be one or two blocks. Keep them handy next to you. Sit in um, hero pose or virasana or cross-legged if that feels better on your joints and feel free to elevate your hips if you feel that that's going to help you find a little bit more lift and extension in your spine and openness in your heart as well as in your lungs and allow the shoulders to drop down and away from the ears and just feel lots of movement there. Just work your palms together in front of your heart and close your eyes. Try to soften your eyes and soften your lips. And then tune yourself into your ujjayi breathing. Find those long, deep inhalations and full, complete exhalations. Just gradually over time, finding the depth and the width of your breath, of your potential. And then breath by breath, withdrawing yourself from the external world to the internal world. Let's let the external rest give it a break, and then draw in to ourselves. Release any tensions, any tightnesses that might have accumulated. Try to exhale away what you no longer need. And then inhale what you feel is going to help to carry you on. It's going to give you strength to carry on. Flexibility endurance, support. And today we're going to focus on balance. What is balance to you? To me, balance is not static. It's ever moving, it's ever changing. And to me, and in Goa Flow, it's all about finding our support system so that we can find our anchor within that ever-changing, ever-moving flow. So we can find our breath even when we're in the most challenging moments. Allowing the mind to quiet down so we can make the best choices for ourselves. So fully inhale and fully exhale. Enjoy your chin into your chest and feel free to set an intention for your practice. It can be as simple as staying connected to your breath. Just finding your balance within this flow. Good, and then lift your chin and open your eyes. Good. Before we start flowing, we're going to come into a tabletop position and then just practice uh, keeping our hips leveled as well as stacked. 
So in the tabletop position, when your arms are shoulder distance apart and your legs are hip distance apart, we keep our hips leveled. Okay, so in this position, feel like you're pressing the floor away from you and separating the shoulder blades a little bit, finding length in your neck and length in your spine. Feel the navel drawing up, so you don't want yourself to sink into your back or to drop into your belly like a hammock, but just gently pull the navel up so you feel that support. Extend your left leg out. Okay, feel that you're extending all the way out through your heel. And then peek behind you and see that your toes point down. Contract the quadricep, the muscle in the front of the thigh, as you draw up through the navel. And try to squeeze the bottom of your buttocks there. Draw out through the heart. And then lift the right arm. Hold it here. So you want to try to maintain the levelness of your hips in this position. And we'll be using this for a warrior three. So the back leg is very important. The abs are very important. Good, then lower the right hand to the floor and then turn the right foot to the outer edge of your mat. And then gradually as you press through the shin, lift that left hip and try to stack the hip on top of the right hip and extend out through your left leg. Draw the navel in and then lift the heart up so you're stretching the heart forward and then lift out of your shoulders. You can look down, you can look to the side or you can look up wherever you have your balance and then feel free to reach the arm over the ear. Drop the shoulder down. Full breath in, full breath out. Then slowly lower the left hand to the floor Level your hips back to leveledness. <laughs> and then lower the chest and the chin into the floor. So this might feel a little weird initially. Shift your weight forward and then inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. Good. And then exhale, round it into cat stretch. <sighs> and then inhale, sit back into child's pose. Just hold it there. Draw your hips back. Let your forehead rest onto the floor. Maybe bend your elbows. Keep your palms together. And feel that stretch all the way through the side of your body, lengthening your torso. And feeling a stretch into your tricep. Good. Then come back into tabletop position. Shoulder distance apart and hip distance apart. Extend the right leg out, press the floor away from you, lift up through the belly, draw the heart forward, extend out through that right leg, squeeze the right buttocks, squeeze the muscle in the front of the right thigh. As the navel pulls up, peek behind you and see that your toes point down, and then extend the left arm to the front. Breathe in and breathe out, your hips are leveled. Then lower the left hand to the floor, Turn your foot to the outer edge of the mat. Press through the shin. As you press the floor away from you, keep that back leg very active and stack your right hip on top of your left hip. As you draw the navel in, draw the heart forward and reach the right arm up. You can look down to the side or up. And then reach the right arm over the right ear. Ah, delicious stretch into the side body. Good, and slowly rewind, level off the hips. And exhale, lower the chest and the chin to the floor. You can move the hands a little bit further forward if you need to. Inhale to baby cobra or upward facing dog. So that one is very much like the dynamic tranquilizer. Initially it might feel like it doesn't fit, but eventually it does. <laughs> Exhale, round it into cat. Inhale, arch it to cow. And then exhale, curl the toes under, shift your hips back and come into downward facing dog. <sighs> Just keep the knees bent, draw the torso towards your thighs. Good, and keep the knees bent, walk the hands back. 
inhale halfway pose and exhale fold inhale rise all the way to the top and then exhale draw the hands to the heart great we're going to step to the front of the mat keep the feet together and do some sun salutation a b and i'm going to add on a c so lift your toes off the floor root into the four corners of your feet lift through the lower belly lift through the heart and then inhale sweep the arms to the side and up gaze it to your thumbs and gaze it to the sun exhale fold over your thighs inhale halfway exhale step the right foot back inhale left foot back to plank exhale slowly to chaturanga either straight or on your knees inhale baby cobra or upper dog remember you can continue to use your blocks or your strap for that chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog full breath in full breath out your heels can stay off the ground or you can work your heels towards the ground just breathe with it then draw the right knee into the navel softly step the right foot forward place your hands on blocks if you feel that that helps you and left foot forward inhale halfway exhale fold in rise and exhale namaste we do this again inhale rise exhale fold hopefully these are starting to feel a little bit easier inhale halfway exhale left foot back inhale right foot back to plank exhale slowly chaturanga straighter on the knees inhale baby cobra or upper dog and exhale downward facing dog breathe in exhale it out breathe in exhale it out draw the left knee into the navel and softly step that left foot forward and the right foot forward inhale half exhale fold in rise and exhale namaste sun salutation b bend the knees inhale fierce pose and exhale fold in halfway exhale right foot back inhale left foot back exhale chaturanga inhale upper dog exhale downward dog inhale right foot forward exhale pivot the left heel in inhale it up to warrior one exhale hands to the floor pivot the left heel off inhale plank exhale chaturanga in up dog exhale downward dog inhale left foot forward exhale pivot the right heel in inhale warrior one exhale hands to the floor pivot the right heel off inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale up dog and exhale downward dog good so a little bit more challenging a need for digging a little bit deeper into that ujjayi breathing in the lungs and your capacity it's all good. Mm. 
Now you can either jump it to the hands or step the right and the left foot forward. So if you want to jump it to the hands, lift your heels, bend your knees, and like you're going to spring off like a trampoline. So you bend the knees and then jump it to the hands. Try to get lift in your hips. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. In, bend the knees, fierce. And exhale, namaste. Beautiful. I'm going to add on sun salutation C. So bend the knees, inhale, fierce. Exhale, fold. In, halfway. Exhale, left foot back. Inhale, right foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, pivot the right heel in. Inhale it up to warrior one. And then exhale, open to warrior two. Lift your toes up off the floor. Inhale, reverse warrior two, go up and back. And then exhale, cartwheel. Ground the right palm to the floor, pivot the heel off and twist it open to the left. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. In, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, pivot the left heel in. Inhale up to warrior one. Exhale, open to warrior two. Lift your toes off the floor. Inhale, reverse warrior two. Go up and back. Exhale, cartwheel. Ground the left palm to the floor. Pivot the heel off and twist it open to the right. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Remember, always lower the knees if you feel that you're there. Inhale, baby cobra or upper dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Shake out your head. Feel free to flutter your lips. Give yourself a sigh. You can always rest in child's pose if you feel like it's too much. Breathe with it. Just let the breath support you. Let your core strength support you. Let your strong arms and legs support you. Now either step the right and the left foot forward or lift the heels, bend the knees and jump up and forward. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. In, fierce pose. And exhale, namaste. Beautiful. So really getting warm, getting that circulation going, and getting our breath moving. Let's move on. Just rest the arms at the side of your body and draw the navel in as you lift the right leg off. Hold onto the knee. Root down into your left foot and leg and then take a hold of the right ankle for tree pose. Open the knee out to the side and place the right foot wherever you can on your left inner thigh. Press your right foot against the left thigh and the left thigh against the foot. Draw in and up through the lower belly and the heart. Palms together in front of your heart. Breathe with it. Soft gaze in front of you. Then try to reach the arms up like you're branching out and then maybe see if you can bend it over to the right like you're swinging and swaying with the wind and lift it up and then maybe you can go over to the left still maintaining your center and gradually come up draw the hands to the heart again and keep drawing in through the navel as you release the leg and draw the knee into your chest. And then extend the right leg out in front of you. 
bend it and then hinge it forward keep the left knee bent extend out really press out through that right foot keep the toes pointing down hips are leveled like we did in that tabletop position and then press with the left leg draw in through the navel lift through the heart and gradually come up extend the leg and then possibly the arms and then bend draw the elbows in hinge it forward and extend it back good do that one more time press through that left leg draw in through the navel lift and extend bend hinge it forward extend ah so good feel the strength building up in that left leg and draw it in extend and bend palms together foot rests back down ah excellent we try it on the other side navel is active abdominals are active and lift the left leg up feel the weight pouring into the right leg chest is lifted draw the knee as close in as you can and then take a hold of that left ankle open the knee to the side and place that left foot wherever you can on your right inner thigh press the foot and the thigh against each other and then draw up it's like you're creating that glue drop the shoulders keep your gaze in front of you reach the arms up and then maybe you can bend it over to the left and lift it up to the center and then sway it to the right and lift it up to the center so good draw it back to the center and then draw the knee in lift up tall extend the leg out bend the knee and then hinge it forward right leg can be bent extend out through the heel keep the left toes pointing down so your hips are leveled draw the heart forward and draw the navel in and up and press the floor away from you gradually come up extend the arms and the leg draw the elbows in bend the leg and hinge it forward good do that again gradually come up extend bend and hinge it forward excellent gradually come in yeah and it can get wobbly extend draw the hands to the heart bend the leg and namaste excellent now keep one block next to you or in front of you and then inhale to fierce pose and exhale bend the knees and twist it to the right roll the shoulders open inhale lift up and lengthen and then exhale bend the knees and twist it to the left roll the shoulders open good then inhale all the way up and then exhale draw the right knee into the navel and inhale straighten out the legs leg and the arms and then exhale bend hinge it forward warrior three step it back into a crescent lunge stay on the ball of the right foot feet are hip distance apart inhale it up and then exhale open it up to a warrior two lift your toes up off the floor inhale reverse warrior two go up and back and then exhale extended side angle good and now inhale one more time reverse warrior two and then exhale extended side angle inhale to warrior two reach the arms out and from this warrior two bend it to the side a little bit lift the right heel off the floor 
step the right foot a bit in and take a little dip down and then push off for half moon where your hips stack on top of each other. So keep that back leg very active, press out of the heel, draw in and up through the lower belly, lift through the heart. Keep your hand on a block and look down and see that your left wrist is on top of under the shoulder and reach the right arm to the ceiling. Just keep looking down so that you can find your bearings here. Full breath in, full breath out. Good, then bend the left knee, keep drawing into the navel and see if you gradually can press the floor away from you and come all the way up. Yeah! And release. Namaste. That's a bit challenging, so you're going to have to work on that. So let's do it again. Practice, practice, practice. Bend the knees, inhale, fierce pose. And then exhale, twist it to the left. Roll the shoulders open. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. And then exhale, bend and twist it to the right. Inhale, lift and draw the left knee to your chest. Exhale, the leg out. Inhale, and then exhale, hinge it forward. Inhale, step that left foot back. Come all the way up to crescent lunge. Exhale, open it up to a warrior two. Lift your toes off the floor. Inhale, reverse warrior two, go up and back. And exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, extended side angle. Good, inhale to warrior two. And then bend sideways a little bit. Lift your left heel, step it in a little bit, and then push off. Hold on to your block. Yeah, and just find your bearings. Draw in through the lower belly, lift through the heart, roll that left hip open, left shoulder open. So hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. The back leg supports you, keep looking down. Once you've found your bearings, then you can start looking to the side and up. But unless you have the foundation, then don't try to fly yet. <laughs> Full breath in full breath out. Then bend your right knee and then try to press the floor away from you. Draw in through the navel, lift through the heart, reach through that left arm and gradually come up. Draw the knee in and namaste. You might notice that it feels a little bit easier on one side of your body than the other and that's just some imbalances. So trying to put it and bring it all together. So moving on with our last flow. So for the la next flow, you'll need two blocks. So keep them in front of you. Bend the knees, inhale fierce, and just open your arms out to the side shoulder height for eagle pose. Lift your right heel and gradually draw the knee into your chest like Karate Kid. Cross the right leg on top of the left. Double cross if you can. Cross the left elbow on top of the right. Lift your elbows. Drop your shoulders down. Keep the breastbone lifted. Navel drawn in. Exhale, hinge it forward if you're okay with that. So you feel the tailbone drawing back and your breastbone drawing forward. Feeling a good stretch into the outer upper hips as well as your outer shoulders. Inhale, fly out of it. Reach the arms up, knee into your chest. And then exhale, hinge it forward for warrior three again. Lower the hands onto the block. So keep your arms shoulder distance apart and peek behind you and again see that your toes are pointing down and your hips are leveled. Keep the right buttock squeezed, draw the navel up and draw the heart forward. Roll the shoulders open. 
Now your left leg can be extended or your left leg can be a little bent. As you draw the heart forward and you extend out through the heel, release that left arm and try to reach it up. Find a little twist in your spine. This is rotated half moon. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, then lower the left hand down, step the right foot in, inhale halfway, and exhale, fold. Inhale, fierce pose. Bend the knees again. Open the arms to the side, and we do this on the other side. Lift the left heel off, draw the knee in. Oops, karate kid. Cross that left knee on top of the right, double cross if you can. Cross the right elbow on top of the left, lift your elbows, drop your shoulders. Inhale fully. And then exhale if you can, if you want to. Try to hinge forward. Just stretches your balance a little bit. You might not be ready for it yet. So draw the heart forward, draw the tailbone back. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Then inhale, fly out of it. Knee into your chest, arms up. And then exhale, hinge it forward, warrior three. Lower the hands to the floor or to the blocks again. Peek behind you and see that your toes point down. Lift, squeeze the left buttocks. Draw up through the lower belly. Draw the heart forward. All right, practice by keeping the right leg extended initially. And then you can bend the knee. As you draw the heart forward, transfer the weight into the right arm and reach the right left arm and reach the right arm to the ceiling. Keep looking down, just so you start to get your bearings first. Then lower the right hand down. Step the left foot in. Inhale halfway. And exhale, fold. In, rise all the way. And exhale, namaste. Excellent, just shake it loose. So that was a lot of balance, finding strength, finding flexibility, finding that endurance, as well as finding the levelness of the hips and the stacking of the hips. So you start to notice now how much your abdominals play a huge role in this. And you might have felt it also a little bit in your ankles. So that's another point that plays a major role in balancing poses. <laughs> so let's sit down onto the floor and come into bound angle pose. So the soles of your feet are going to come together. And then take your thumbs right into your big toe joint. We also refer to them as big toe mounds. And then lift your chest. If you need to come up a little bit higher, sit on a blanket. Then lift your chest, pin the shoulder blades down and together, elbows are in close. And then exhale, hinge it forward. Just hinge it forward as far as you can go. Immediately you'll feel the stretch through the inner thighs. And probably immediately your body says or your brain says, round in. Try to avoid that. Keep it lifted. Full the breath in. Full the breath out. Full the breath in. Full the breath out. Good, and then gradually start to come all the way up. Lean back a little bit and extend your legs out. And just shake your legs out. Excellent. Sit in stick pose. Sit to the tips of your sitting bones. Chest up. And then bend your right leg in. Lift and exhale, rotate it to the left. Inhale fully. And then exhale, bend forward, take the right hand to the outside of the foot, left hand to the inside, left wrist on top, and then exhale from there, gently descend over your left leg. So feel that stretch into the left calf, hamstring, and the right side 
of your spine and waist. So full of breath in, full of breath out. Good, and gradually start to come up and extend the leg out, back to stick pose. And bend your left leg in. Sit up tall and rotate it to the sides. You see how this position feels, diff feel the, feels like the same? So you notice how this position is the same as the tree pose? <laughs> yeah. Rotate it to the right. Inhale. And then exhale, bend it forward. Left hand to the outside of the foot. Right hand to the inside. Right wrist on top. And descend. And of course, use your strap if you can't take a hold of your foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, and gradually come all the way up and extend your left leg out. Sit to the tips of the sitting bones again for a seated forward fold. Inhale the arms up, legs extended or knees bent. Keep the front body open and hinge it forward. Either hold on to the outsides of the feet or next to the legs. And very gradually work your way forward. Try not to hunch your way into it. And just notice where the balance is within your body, within the poses that I offer today. The right leg, the left leg, the front and the back body, the side body, the lower and the upper body. From the standing poses to the seated poses, a lot to learn. And then gradually start to come up. Ah, beautiful. Now you can either rest back into a Shavasana position or you can remain seated and cross your legs into an easy seat for a meditation position. I'm going to do that. Or feel free to do whatever feels right for you. And just rest your hands on your thighs. You can keep your index fingers and your thumbs together. You can keep your palms to face up or your palms to face down. If your palms face up, remember that's the mudra for higher consciousness. If your palms face down, that is the mudra for inner knowledge. So feel free to choose whichever one resonates with you. If you're reclined, your arms can be at the side of your body. You can also hold on to this mudra if you want to. Or place one hand on your heart, another hand on your belly. And just soften your lips, soften your eyes. And just let the breath flow through you. Notice now at the end if you feel a little bit more balanced than maybe what you did in the beginning. Not to put any words in your mouth. Just pay attention to what this work is doing for you, how it's helping you. And please let me know, share with me what's going on with you and how yoga is helping you in your life. You might notice tiny little changes, 
but those are the tiny little changes that mount to big changes over time. Hopefully now it feels like there's a little bit more space within you. It's a very vibrant, growing space, full of potential and possibility. Connection. So at any time when you feel any separation, in the external world, you can always withdraw into your own internal world and find it. It's there for you at all times, whenever you need it. Just remind yourself and practice the yoga on the mat so it can help you in the yoga off of the mat. If you want to sit longer or rest longer in Shavasana, feel free to do so. Just pause the video. I'm going to end it here. If you're ready to end it, work the palms together in front of your heart, or do this when you're ready. Draw your chest into the chin and bow down into the highest within you. Breathe and believe. Trust in yourself. You can access your support system whenever you need it. You are stronger than what you think. Just practice, practice, practice. Namaste. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope that this made you feel better. It made me feel better. <laughs> It's been a challenging week since we learned the news about Brexit here. And um, yoga truly saves the day. It really does. And the more we practice yoga, the, the more it helps us, you know, in those challenging situations that we get into in our everyday life off of the yoga mat and the biggest, biggest yoga. So if you want to read more about this, you can read more about it on my blog because the yoga doesn't just happen here it just happens you know all the time <laughs> so thank you for practicing with me give it a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, let me know in the comment box below how it helped and how this practice uh, felt on your body okay i will see you next time bye